Hello and welcome to Nair. I am Jay, your DM of this Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition original podcast story adventure. Uh, if you are a new listener or you haven't heard the last few episodes, I recommend going back a few before you pick up this one because we are jumping in right in the middle of a battle. This is part four of our Taking Back Touring series. Uh, if you have already listened, uh, welcome aboard. Enjoy the adventure. It's like really annoying the whole time. It's like in my head. I'm like, oh, oh. Um, yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm going to. Oh yeah. Okay. Here we go. Who uh? Who who all's pretty hurt? Is there is there anybody? Um. I mean, mostly. Is there anybody you. within? Who all's within thirty feet of me? Uh, parents taking some hits. Tatsu has taken some hits, but she has a hundred hit points. You don't have to worry about her. Ninety nine. Well, not dead. How many yet. do you? How many are you at 56. now? Fifty six. How many are you at 56. now? Fifty six. Fifty six. Okay. But she's taking like twenty um, around, so just. All right, I'm going to throw down my beacon of hope. I'm going to. What's it um, look like? Yeah, I'm getting ready to ex- describe <laughs> it to you. So. Uh, you just give me a minute. I take my axe. And I plant like my double, my double-handed axe, and I plant it into the ground like so this. So do you drop your shield when you do this? <gasps> oh yeah, no. sure. All right, I'm going for it because I don't even care. I like I like the way this sounds. Okay, so I plant it in the ground, and at the center of the axe, it begins to glow, and it emits an aura within 30 feet of me, um, and it, and I, and it's only going to target allies, of course. What color is your aura? Um, it's like a, it's like an orangey blue. Those oh, are complimentary opposite colors. colors. So, so brown. brown. No, it's like brown. it's like pulsing it's in those in those two colors. Everywhere. It's, it's, it's two. It's two right colors. It's blue. It's my blue. favorite it's like way to make brown. It's poop. like it's like a sewer <laughs> exploded. It's like it, it's like diarrhea. Okay, just it's <laughs> diarrhea. It's just a cloud. Okay, it's just bits of carrot in there, and but it's <laughs> it's got healing properties. Okay. So uh, what this does is that it's gonna. Um, I know it looks gross, but breathe it in. <laughs> so who who all, who else in my? I know it smells bad, but trust me. It's the color uh, of your shirt. Look at that. Tat, so it's like. <laughs> <laughs> um, so everyone within, I mean, this is Beacon of Hope. It's like my best spell that I have equipped. It's level three. Um, every friendly target within range. Uh, thirty feet is healed the maximum number of hit points from possible from any healing oh, they can receive. So they're restored, including me. So does that mean they go up to full, or is there like a limit of? It hit says I'm going to read you the spell card. Okay, it says each target has advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws, and regains the maximum number of hit points possible from any healing. Interesting. So what, Max, so what I didn't know there was a limit on possible? Hit, I guess that would mean like not temporary hit points. Yeah. Would be my guess. Yeah, it would it would just be any healing that they could receive. So everyone gets one hundred. So, and it only and it tells me that it's any number of creatures too, which is crazy. So that where tiger is. This. Oh yeah, daddy. No, no, no. No, it's just it's just the ones that I want. I love that so. stinky smell. <laughs> <laughs> any creature that I want. Give me that steak. And it's just those creatures. And so 
the the <laughs> diarrhea beam it like it kind of pulses and then it shoots like these beams of healing into their noses <laughs> and they receive maximum amount of hit points possible for any healing so they all get um advantage on wisdom saves and death saves uh but disadvantage on perception checks based on smell because they just have that diarrhea stench just like <laughs> clogging okay up. sure dm you 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 say yeah whatever you say dm i don't know when we'd be like <laughs> excuse me what's going on here <laughs> but <laughs> You'd be surprised. If they were a dog person, then maybe that would make sense. <laughs> so, what are we? A bunch of were dogs? I can't see with my eyes any longer, so I'm going to rely on my. Anyway, nose. so I just burn my. I just burn my. Uh, my best. Spell. I think it was worth it. That was pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty that dope. includes you, right? All right. All right. No yep. good. Any creature I choose, I can choose myself. Yep. And it's, it's concentration, so it's maintained as, until you lose concentration. And the funny thing is, it could have well, been... Well, it's done after... I think it's done, right? It's like done after I do it. Oh, well, I wasn't there. Well, what so about the saving throw aspect? Just, like, power right, right. Sounds like it up. continues. The, the funny thing about it is, it could have been any smell in the world, but Reeve just really wanted to sniff all that, that stink. <laughs> what can I say? I like the smell of my own farts. Well, that's... Okay. All right. All right. Everyone's powering up. Except for me. Well, are you? Everyone how tall the is the is roof? Powering up. <laughs> you might be close. I'm at wrong hut. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, just, uh, they're like 60 feet away. <laughs> you, hey, Amy, you, you can see like the steam like coming yeah. out of the. Yeah. Bijou just like <laughs> says or just thinks <laughs> thinks to themselves, Reeve, we need to work on your aesthetic <laughs> and your diet. It's like there's like steam coming out of the the thatched roof. Of the house. <laughs> Quilly Quilly peeks. <laughs> Quilly looks out the window of the hut and she's like, oh, "We could have really used that over here." <laughs> and uh, let's see. Is it? Uh, speaking of, uh, Quilly is uh, working her magic, getting this this gnome up. Um, What's her face? Bell Bricks. Uh, sees the tiger coming. Uh, he's like right at the doorway. And because Quilly is right next to her, she can use her sneak attack. Uh, stink attack? Sneak attack. <laughs> stink attack. <laughs> S- her stink attack. <laughs> <laughs> sneak attacks. It's silent but deadly, but. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, she deals 24 damage onto the were tiger. He's like, <laughs> and uh, let's see how the Bash brothers do. Nope. 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 Oh, no. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Reeve. Um, but Jaron swings his axe and he hits you for six damage. <laughs> it's okay. He's like, I'm sorry, my brother. Hey, Aaron, guess how many hit points I have? 98? 99. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> well, she has 100, so. That's true, but that's still, I mean, 99 is a great number. <laughs> I said 98. I don't know why. That was close. All right. Nice. Nice. All right. Um, Byung-ho and Perrin combine to stab and slap that other veteran to death. (laughs) (laughs) Did he have rings on? That would hurt. Pyongho? Oh no, he's not for jewelry. Oh, he has he has like wraps tied around his hands. Just like one or two class rings, and that would really hurt. With like thumbtacks sticking out like this. <laughs> um, Harry would uh, 
Roman have been able to hear Timothy uh, in your conversation? I don't know if... I mean, we speak... What does Roman speak? What are you guys speaking? The speech of beast. Don't the dragons speak English? They speak common. I don't know what English but we're speaking. Is, but... <laughs> we're speaking our own little language, so no. It's just like lots of like gibberish, essentially. That's incredibly unhelpful, generally. Yeah, for you guys, yeah. not for us. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see if Roman makes this perception check then. Nope, that's a one. All right, she just kind of like, she'll like, all right, well, um, what about the stinkiest thing you've ever smelled? And it's your turn, Harry. Damn it, Roman. I'm trying to focus right now. Timothy, have you seen anything? Uh, the orange guy went back again to the other hut. It looks like there's people in there. It looks like he got hurt. Uh, and the little guys, they all threw all their spears. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then your friend, the tall, the, the tall friend, disappeared. I don't know where they went. Who all is, who all is outside that you can see right now? Uh, the little, the three little guys and then the orange guy. Okay. I need you to go ahead. I, I thought we discussed this, but I need you to go ahead and throw some cold breath on those suckers. On all, th- on all of them. I can't reach all of them. Well, we're, on, we're, we're going for the orange guy at least. Okay. How fast do they fly? As fast as they want. <laughs> uh, I am looking Uh, flying 80 feet. Okay, they can. She, he can make that. I mean, we're at 30 feet. Yeah, make a like a cold breath attack or whatever. Yeah. Uh, 16 hit. Oh, they need mm-hmm. okay, so they need a DC of 15 constitution saving throw. Oh. They get it. Okay, so they're only going to take half the damage. Does this work like in a cone? Yeah, 30-foot cone. So it would go like into the hut? Uh, Possibly. If we want them to be reckless, yeah. All right. Uh, Bellbrix does not make that constitution saving throw. Ooh. That's not good. Let me write all these down because there's a lot of them. Ten. All right, Belly is gonna take twenty-seven cold damage. Okay. Well, actually, let's just do so. Oh shit! That adds up exactly the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, twenty-seven. Sorry, I have that backwards. The orange guy gets twenty-seven. Belly gets twice that. That's not good. So 54. Because Belly did not pass and the tiger did, correct? Correct. Yeah. 27 to 54. Okie dokie. Bell Bricks is shivering. You doing anything else? Um, I will... Tell Timothy to speak common from here on out since there's action. Oh, that's not as fun. Too late. I already decided it. All it's right. that's decreed. No, it was Timothy saying I that. know. No. I know. It's decreed. Tatsuro, your turn. She's just going to work on killing that guy some more. Here we go, friends and neighbors. 18. That hits. And a 25. That, I guess that hits. Mm-hmm. Um, 17 damage. 
you're not using the necrotic, right? Because that's with your other weapon. Nope. But she does get plus a lot. Okay. All right. On any melee weapon, it looks like she gets plus four and then plus two for barbarian, so. Okay. Um, those three uh, halfling, or, yeah, halfling guards who threw all the spears um, kind of like all look at their empty hands and then they look at the in shock at a dragon flying down and freezing uh, or blowing out a cold breath into the hut and they all kind of turn tail and run the other direction back to the other hut <laughs> and <laughs> the, the uh, were tiger attacking Tatsuo swipes with his scimitar uh, does a 19 hit? Uh, yes. Oh, and a nat 20. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know. Change the dice. I will not. All right. So, 10, 15. I haven't got a single one. It's three of them. All right. You take uh, 24... Slashing damage. La -dee da. I mean, it doesn't really matter since. Oh darn! Back to seventy-six health. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other one is going to how far? How close to the ground are you on the dragon, Harry? We're thirty feet. Does your breath? Does the breath go that far? Yeah, it's a thirty foot cone. That's why we chose thirty feet. Okay. I think that's um, as far as it goes. Yeah. All right. He kind of looks around and sees you guys. Um, can't do anything about it, and turns to Bellbricks again because he can do something about that. And. It. That one's not a hit. Yeah. All right. Belbrix takes some damage as he slashes her. And let's see. It is back to Bijou. All right. Question. Have I seen, especially from my vantage point on the roof, have I seen any of the <laughs> the wear tigers in the metal? Like or with the metals, whatever you said they like the Oh, those were the ones? halflings with the metals. Oh, have I have I seen those either here or around, like commanding officers of the Grey Army? No, they've completely been inside that large hut the whole time. No, but I mean in our travels have I seen commanding oh. officers of the um, I mean, you would have seen some lower ranking officers. These are, you haven't run into veterans this experienced before. They have way more medals than you've ever seen. But, uh, you have, you would have like had run ins, especially in Prime, you probably would have run into like some sergeants and like that kind of thing. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, <laughs> Okay, can I see some wear tigers from where I'm on the roof? I'm sorry, there's like a, a sequence I'd like to do. Um, so the roof is kind of conular, and right. because you wanted to hide on the back of it, you wouldn't be able to actually see the other one. Can unless I like you peek over around. but still hide? Um, like go up to the top and peek. I don't know if you'd be able to see if you peeked over, but if you kind of like moved around to the side, you'd probably be able to. Yeah, I want to move like the minimal amount and still be hiding. Mm -hmm. Do I see an enemy? Yeah. Okay. What I'd like to do is like throw a dagger and then roll back into hiding. <laughs> like stay on the roof, but just like. Real heroicism yeah. over here. How far is your Snipe? range? Uh, With the dagger, 60 feet. Because you have the, um, the fleeing guards that you'd probably be able to reach with that if you wanted. Yeah. Uh, the one that I've hit a lot. Can I go for him? The the tiger? Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, let me. Uh, I'm gonna do that and then like hide. I don't know if I'm gonna have to roll for stealth or anything, but it's do not. It. Oh. Okay, eighteen to hit. That hits. Okay, he's gonna take four damage, and I'm gonna roll back to my hiding spot. All right, do your stealth check. Okay. What he take? Get plus eleven. So, oh, it's an advantage too. Um, twenty nine. It's yeah, pretty stealthy. <laughs> okay. So I would like to now, with my action, do disguise yeah. self as the highest ranking uh, officer of the Gray Army that I've Question, seen. Question How many medals is that? Uh, that would be about five medals. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn into that and then use my. Uh, Maybe need acrobatics to do this, or maybe not. I'd like to climb or just, you know, lower myself off the roof. Now, I'm not actually shorter because I didn't alter self. Mm -hmm. So I look shorter, but I'm still my same height. So can I get off the roof, like, in, in the hidden side? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what I'd like to do and stay hiding. Okay. All right. Like that. Got a dagger out first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Reeve. All right. <clears throat> how's the How's the guy close to me looking? Um, he's. It's not your turn. He's actually attacking you. Oh. So then, why uh, did you say "All right, Reeve"? Because I was getting him ready for being attacked. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. I'm always ready for that. Um, first hit's a nineteen. Second one's a one. <laughs> right, what did the 19 do? Oh, what did the one do? I want to yeah. see what the one did. To that would be funny. So he slashes at you for seven slashing damage. And then as he comes back around, he kind of like grazes his love handles. Um, <laughs> because he was trying to do a really cool sword move. Um, but it's pretty embarrassing how much this hurt. He took six damage. <laughs> Eat it, punk. <laughs> Full aggressive. And the other one is right, dead, I'm, so it's Reeve's turn. Uh, I'm going to use a searing smite on this guy again. I want to attack him. Um, oh my god, I rolled a two. Jesus. Two of four. Does not hit. And then, yeah, obviously. Okay, 24. Does hit. Okay, so I hit him for... Um, uh, shoot, hold on. Get back to my bio. There we go. Uh, plus four, right? So he, did, he took 10 slashing damage, and then I'm hitting him with the Searing Smite cast at uh, level one. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an extra d6. He's taken, uh, so he's going to take uh, 10 slashing damage plus 5 searing fire damage. Mm -hmm. um, and he, he ignites in flames. And it, at the start of each of its turns, until the spell ends, the target must make a constitution saving throw. If he fails, he takes 1d6 fire damage. This isn't the one that pushes him back also, is it? No. All right. Um, he crumples down in flames oh cool nice uh and uh unfortunately the entire floor is made out of gasoline no <laughs> sorry i'm just sorry. kidding <laughs> 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 nervous laughter <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> all right the um the Bash brothers try and run up to that were tiger, uh, but uh, they don't have anything that can hurt it. Uh, they just keep hitting it. And, like, uh, 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 and uh, wait, wait, oh, the Bash. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And then Byung Ho and uh, Perrin run up. Again, we get one hit. <laughs> What's he good for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> what? 
uh, and Byung Ho lands a slap right across his face, <laughs> and he goes, "The where Tiger, not Byung Ho." Yeah, I assumed. And it's Harry's turn. Wait, Harry. Oh wait, no, just it's the other where Tiger too. Uh, you just one. skipped someone. My yeah, I think fellow yeah. dragon rider. Oh, I don't know about Aaron. No, I skipped the other NPCs. Um, I thought they died. Billy turns around uh, and sees that Bellbricks has taken a lot of damage and is shivering, and she tries to grab her and pull her away from the action. Uh, and while she's like muttering more spells, uh, and Roman is going to come down and try and uh, pick up the. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, the fleeing halflings, but they totally miss. Uh, but she also has her javelin, which she throws at one. Yep, that works. And let's see what that damage is. Oh, these guys have like no hit points. Uh, she totally skewers one of them and he falls down dead. Nice. <laughs> and now it is Harry's turn. All right. Um, Timothy, my boy. Is that orange creature still standing? Oh yeah. I mean he's a little bit got a he's got some white tinge on his fur now, but he's still standing. All right, let's you know from the ice. Oh yeah. He's a little bit. Oh yeah. He's cold. All right, well I'm gonna I'm gonna have you go down there and we're gonna bite and claw him and then we're gonna come right back up, okay? Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Plus seven. Ooh, uh, 23. That hits. That's for the bite. So that's going to be 2d10. Five, nine, plus four, 15. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's 13 piercing damage. And then a D8 for cold damage. So that's another six damage cold damage. All right. And then the claw is going to be 21. Hits. Good shit, good shit. And that's going to be 2D6. I'm going to use my little baby ones. That's nine. Plus four, 13. Piercing. Okay. Oh, slashing, sorry. And then we're going to fly back up 30 feet. Okie dokie. All right. Anything else? Nope. All right. Yeah, chicken. Yeah. Uh, Tatsuo, what are you doing? I'm still stabbing. Um, that's been in my head for a while. But she's going to still stab the guy because that's the only silver weapon she's got. So. Okay, well then do it. Ooh. Okay, 18 and then in 11. They both, well, one of them hits. <laughs> I was going to say, mm, I don't think. Um, okay. Mm, four plus four is eight. Ten damage. Oh, okay. He is just not feeling sexy anymore. Slowly working him down. Just slowly just stabbing him like a serial killer. Just stabbing him numerous times. Um, You done? Yes. Well, she back, you know, again, out of spitting distance. She can't, or else you would take an opportunity attack. Okay. Uh, the no, the guards without their spears are like running, and like I'm just picturing this as like you know a motion camera like 
backing away from that. They're running towards the camera. Dragon comes down, tries to swoop one up. Spear goes through another one, uh, falls down. The other two are just like running and running, trying to get towards the hut. Um, but they are little halflings and they're very slow, so they can't make it yet. And then the in the big hut, the were tiger slashes at Tatsuo. Uh, does a 21 hit? Yes. What about a 24? I don't. Why are you asking? Say no. Say no because Just, he asked. <laughs> no, it doesn't hit. She has magic <laughs> right. special armor that only activates when a were tiger tries to claw her. Remind me to buy some of that. Magic special armor. It's like a hologram and you can't even see it. And it just happens. All right. You take 11 slashing damage. From that one hit? My goodness. It's really, <laughs> that's actually the least amount. Yeah, because he's been rolling that 20s on every single round. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, the other one misses. Oh, and he hits the second time. Um, no, I got that song stuck in my head. Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome. We watched it on a Go Noodle, and they did this really bad cover of it. But it was uh, interesting. Bellbrix is not looking so hot. Uh, yeah, she's she just freezing did. and taking a lot of hits. And but none of you guys can see that. Nope. And now it's Beach's really turn. Fair. <laughs> All right. So there's there's two halflings running towards the hut, correct? Mm -hmm. Towards right. the other I'm gonna, hut. <laughs> I'm gonna walk out and I'm gonna be like you, you, and I'm gonna like walk up to the, like to try to get in as, as much into range as I can. How close can I get to them? So they're about like fifty feet away from your hut. They're going to the other hut, the southern hut. Okay, I'm going to get uh, about. I'm gonna move twenty feet towards them. Mm -hmm. I think that's all I need. Yeah, and one of them I'm going to cast suggestion on and i'm gonna say look look there's a there's there are dragons about how do you think we're gonna win with our broken come come with me and help me fix this machinery and i'm gonna start walking towards the broken machine mm -hmm. uh he has to make a wisdom saving throw and if he fails he has to come with me to help me fix the machine <laughs> uh he rolled a 11. All right, he's coming with me. <laughs> All right. He's he's like, uh, yeah, yes sir. Uh okay. And he like runs. And, can I get my can I get my spear first? No. You don't need uh -huh. a spear here. C just come with me. I'll have everything you need. And the the machinery is like broken down in front of the hut, right? Uh yeah. In front of the big one. All right, so he kind of like follows you over. And let's see. That's all, that's it. Yeah, that's all I can do right now. All right. It's a long game. <laughs> Both of those veterans are dead. So now it's Reeve's turn. All right. Um, what's it looking like in my hut? Is everybody, everybody's dead in my hut, correct? Um, you roll a perception check. Uh, blah, 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 uh, 18. So there's actually, I uh, like you, this is the hut that you guys were in before where the leader was, where you met with the leader mm -hmm. of the gnomes. Um, and there are still some like, um, like there's his like throne and stuff there, uh, but it's pretty, pretty smashed because it looks like the were tiger has been sitting in it and he's much bigger. <laughs> um, but there's like some like random like furniture and stuff around and you can actually see crouching behind a trunk uh, is uh, the leader of the gnomes that you met before 
kind of like dressed up like a like a court jester. I um, mean, he's kind of like shivering back there. But then you also have the the were tiger that Tatsu is is fighting. All right, how far away is he? Is he like like fifteen feet away. Fifteen feet. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna run at that were tiger and try to um attack it so i'm going to run over to it um i'm going to cast another searing smite mm -hmm. at level one on the were tiger and uh see if i can hit it <laughs> uh, can't see that oh all right what are you doing to tatsuo uh Hey, I'm sorry, Tatsuo. I'm gonna. Um, I have my my two-handed axe, which is gonna hurt, <laughs> and I'm going to bring it down, trying to hit the tiger. But I guess I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble here, and I'm gonna hit. Um, it does eleven damage. All right, Tatsuo, you just got axed in the back for eleven damage. That's great. That's so um, great. That's wonderful. What does the searing smite oh, well, do? <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I was going to say, probably going to have to do that, huh? Um, <laughs> maximum damage on that one. And uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so it does another d6 of... Or it does another six damage of flame damage and um it's going to uh she's gonna have to throw a consta constitution saving throw next turn good, the good news to, is a plus seven uh, on that to not be ignited in flames and take more d6 damage um i feel like we're very nearly at the difference in damage is that gonna is that gonna use one of my spell slots if i do that yeah i guess that was a bonus action right so the next successful hit which was that so I'm going to try to hit the tiger again. I want to go, oh, uh, a Tatsuo, uh, and I try to put the flames out. <laughs> and um, I'm going to, like, look again and try to smack the tiger with my single-handed axe. Which you switched does axes. 19. No, my, my oh, sorry, my double-handed <laughs> axe. My bad. I meant to say that. Um, it does 19 damage. Or 19. Does 19 hit? Uh, yeah. Okay, and it does uh, 11 slashing damage. All right. That's nice. Uh, I don't think it did anything. Did it do anything? Uh, who knows? Next up is all the NPCs. <laughs> who, All four of them around the Were Tiger try and do a bunch of stuff. Nothing happens because... They don't have silver weapons. And uh, then the... None of them have magic weapons? Mm -mm. Even Perrin and Bianco? No, they don't take... It's not... Um, it... Because at a certain level, monks, monks' fists are considered magic weapons. And Perrin has that cool magic sword. Yeah, but it's not the... It's not the. It has to be a magical attack. It can't just be it, or a silvered weapon. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Yeah. Otherwise, Tatsu would have sliced and diced him a while ago. I see. Because that sword's had two imbuements. It's pretty much a rare. Like, I was looking up some other rare weapons, and I was like, "Well, her sword's better than that, and that, and that one." Bet you think you're so, so. cool. I am so cool. I worked for that. <laughs> so, uh, Belbrix comes up and does another, or not Belbrix, um, Roman comes up and does another swoop down with the dragon and actually succeeds in picking up one of the um, the halfling soldiers, the one that isn't following Bijou. Uh, its talons kind of like go in to his shoulders and, and crush it and, she, and the dragon tosses it through the roof of the hut it was running towards and uh then 
Belbrix and Quilly are both going to try and attack this tiger who's coming at... Well, actually, Belbrix is a little bit incapacitated. But she'll try. <laughs> Nothing happens to that wear tiger. Now, it's Harry's turn. <laughs> well, that was 17. Does it hit? Yeah. Well, we well, I'm doing the same exact thing as last time. I just couldn't keep rolling that. That was taking forever. Um <laughs> arm got tired. The slash and bite or the, the claw. Bite and claw. The bite and claw. Because we can't recharge our cold breath because I'm not that lucky. Um Yep, so that's gonna be two D ten yet again. Oh, that's nice. That's not nice. Uh so eight plus Okay, so that's twelve piercing. Okay. Six cold. And then we're going to roll for that claw. Rolling for that claw. That is a 23. And I know that hits. I mean it hits. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and that is going to be 2d6 plus four. Nine. 13 again. There you go. 13. Oh, slashing. All right. And then we're flying back up. And I'm going to ask Timothy, do, does it does it look like we're doing any damage? I can't see shit. No. <laughs> Noted. He looks like he's getting colder. Oh. He's definitely getting colder. Oh. And I'm recharged, but I don't think we can. He looks really cold. That's good. That's good. Oh, kitty wants some candy. Uh, Tatsu, what are you doing? Uh, roll a constitution saving throw. Oh, right. Okay, hang on. 23. I'm assuming that works, Andrew. 23. Yeah, that's fine. Does that break it? You're out. Yeah, she she was successfully able to pat the fire out with her clothes. Well, that's a that. positive okay. note. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, nothing good happened. You, right. you didn't burst just, into flames. <laughs> <laughs> I just create problems for us to solve them. That's all. She says, Being productive. My name just testing doesn't... your critical thinking spells. <laughs> critical? Critical thinking. She says, my name doesn't mean female dragon for nothing. Oh. There you go. She is. Well, that. So start breathing fire. Yeah, well, I tried. I tried to, I tried to help her. Here okay, we so we have... I really don't like not having advantage on everything. Um, 13. <laughs> that, that hits. Oh, really? Wow, okay. And then the next one is, like, really high. 17 plus 8. 25. Okay. Um, but that's just two little dagger stabs, so... Um, Oh, nice. She maxed that out. Um, so that would be 20 damage. All right. He goes, ow. Um, Is he dead yet? No. God damn. <laughs> she's, just, she's just like giving him like how many stabs at this point? Like 20? With your little dagger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep poking it with the butter knife. Yeah, like, have you heard of that show, Wives with Knives? <laughs> no, and I don't want to. Um, it's like a crime show about wives that snap and they kill their husbands with knives. <laughs> and that's when she snaps. <laughs> right. Uh, the little guy is going to try and fix all the stuff, but there's no way he's going to make it any there anytime soon. The uh the guard who is suggested. He's pretty far away from the big hut, and he's a very slow halfling. So That's it's fine. gonna take a few more turns for him to get there. A few more turns. Yeah. Have I at least successfully isolated him from his friend? Yeah. <laughs> Am I near him? Uh I mean you can get near him on your turn. Okay. And 
<sighs> Let's see. Okay. Okay. Uh, Tatsu, you get slashed two times. What's ding new? Dang wear tiger. What's this new? What is new? Uh, all right. You take 12 slashing damage. Great. I'd just like to point out that I've gone from 100 to 36 in pretty short order. Oh, yeah? Sorry. Yeah. That's I haven't happened. taken any damage. Because <laughs> you've been doing Gigi's nothing. Because you've been up there doing nothing. The dwarf giveth and the the dwarf taketh. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it would have been more. <laughs> I would have probably been like dead by now, but. Biju's turn. <laughs> okay. How how far do I have to go to get up to this halfling? He would have been, I, I guess, because you guys are going this way, it'd be about 20 feet. Cool. <clears throat> um. How far are we from like the hut and and other people? Uh, you're quite far away. You're pretty much close to the fire in the middle now. I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, that presents an interesting option. Okay. Uh, do it. So do it. my do it. <laughs> my disguise self says, and I quote: <laughs> "You make yourself." look different, including your clothing, armor, weapons, and other belongings mm -hmm. on your person. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to make it look like I'm handing him a hammer to like fix the thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to like hold it out to him. But I really have my rapier in my hand and he can't see it. Okay. You're a sick fuck. So he's, he's <laughs> not going to see it coming. I'm going to be like, oh, here. Take this, and hopefully he'll like stop and turn, and he'll be super open, right? Mm -hmm. Question: Because he can't see the weapon, do I get do I get advantage on this attack? Oh yeah, or like my sneak attack? Absolutely. Sweet. All right. Um, that's gonna be a seventeen to hit. That hits. <laughs> oh, okay. poor guy. And um that's gonna be <laughs> ten piercing damage. Mm. And for my bonus action, I'd like to put my foot up and like kick him off of my sword into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um you he kind of turns around and he says, Oh, that's a really cool looking hammer. I've never seen like one well, Why? <laughs> and then you kick him off and he, goes, <laughs> and he burns to a crisp. <laughs> <laughs> I have made bacon. I'm going to I'm going to look around and I'm going to put my hammer back. <laughs> and just like whistle next to the fire. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, that's okay. That took me three turns to do, <laughs> but it was so <laughs> worth it. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, <laughs> you killed the poor little guard who was unarmed. <laughs> the guard was unarmed? Yeah, he threw his spear. <laughs> I bet he had a family, too. Remember? Ugh. I hope we find his portraits of his family and kids later. <laughs> hey, that guy looks familiar. I care. <laughs> He's an evil ever since I, I, I feel obligated to tell you all that ever since I found out that uh, Admus sold his communicator button, <laughs> I had an alignment shift. <laughs> uh, Reeves turn. All right, um, I'm going to attempt uh, to burn the tiger. I'm going to. Don't roll a one. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna roll my other die actually this time. Um, I'm gonna use my my uh, searing smite again. I want to cast it at level two. Uh, how many slots do I have left on level two here? Ooh, just one. All right, doing it anyway. I'm gonna cast. Uh, I'm gonna cast it at level two. Um, does a twenty hit? Mm-hmm. I'm doing double-handed this time again. 
So that's going to be a d10. That's going to be uh, 10 damage slashing. And then he's going to take... Um, is it D? Is it D6? D6, yeah. Uh, he's going to take two fire damage, and he has to roll a constitution saving throw his... Oh, wait, sorry, not two. Seven fire damage, and he has to roll a constitution saving throw next next turn. Does Tatsu have to keep rolling those con saves, or, or is she done with it now? No, she's done. Once she rolls her successful, she's put out. Okay. Cool. Anything else? Um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to take my weapon again and bring it down on his face. Uh, the face that is currently on fire. Mm. Like his whiskers are like kind of like sizzling down like this. Yeah, it's, they were actually like in t- kind of like waxed into a curly tiger mustache, and now they're oh like sizzling and smoking. Nice. Yeah, nice. Um, I'm gonna roll again for a hit. Nineteen. Yeah, that hits. And six slashing. All right. Uh, all the all the buddies. Doing their buddy thing. None of it matters. <laughs> uh, that tiger guy's still up. Yeah. And the um, Roman swipe swoops down uh, and kind of descends on the hole in the roof of the hut she made by throwing the halfling. And she goes to investigate what's in that hut. But no one can see because... No one's inside of it. And uh, 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 uh. Harry, what are you doing? Uh, we're going to do cold breath. And we're going to just spew it all over that tiger. Are you sure? Uh, because he's still in the doorway with. Yeah. There's a lot of people I there. Can't, yeah, there's a lot of people there. I can't see. All of us. I can't see, guys. I'm telling Timothy, you keep hitting that orange guy. Well, so lucky I'm you. I'm going to die because. Lucky you, it was a seven. I don't know if that's actually lucky you. Probably because I All have right. 36 hit points. It's a deck save. It's a constitution save of 15. Uh, the tiger does not save. <laughs> Everyone else dies. Elbricks does not save. Roman does. Uh, 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 Quilly does save. All right. Let's see the damage here. Okay. Good low start. Started with a two. Hang on. Let me write this down. Because there's 27 of them. Seven. That countered that. That's not good. Six, seven, eight. There's that one. I was looking for one of those. Anyone that failed takes 42 damage. Cold. And then then everyone else takes half. All right, you monster. (laughs) I don't know I'm a monster yet, but yeah. Uh, The tiger goes completely rigid and kind of like tilts over and goes like ting, 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 ting. Uh, And he gone. Who else died? Well, you can't see. (laughs) Unless you're going inside, unless you're like continuing your action. That was was Ian asking the question. 
But yeah, no, that's fine. I mean, are you going back I up? Can ask, or, I mean, the tiger died. I can ask Timothy before we go back up. What, what's it looking like, bud? I don't know. That tiger died. Oh, it's a tiger now. I t- I thought it was an orange thing. I well, you know the the orange guy. The he looks like a tiger. He looks like a, a tiger person. I have never shown you a tiger. Okay, I don't know where you're getting this from. I read it in a book. Well, that's fair. I have shown you a lot of books. I didn't think you read I'm just them. Kidding. Roman told me about tigers. Damn it, Roman. Is there anyone else down there? I don't know. That tiger was in the doorway because I was trying to blow my breath. I didn't see much else. All right, let's hover. Let's hover twenty feet above. All right, Tatsuo. She's still stabbing. Cha 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 cha. All right, do it. Stab stab stab. Cha cha cha. Okay, here we go. Oh, 217, so that's 225s. So I assume those both hit. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's a 17 damage. What kind of damage? Oh, yeah, the silver Piercing weapon. with the silver to the heart. Does he die yet? Nope. What the F? Ouch. Ow, this is so annoying. Why won't you die already? I've got nine lives, unlike you. Oh, he's a cat. I know. (laughs) Don't you people ever die. Uh, 16? 16 what? Does that hit? You? Yes. 14? No. Oh my god, he missed one. All right. Well, you take five slashing damage. Great. She's about to have to. Uh... Oh, and he just has to make that con save, right, Andrew? Yeah. What does he have to beat? Uh, oh, shoot. I think it's a. Uh, oh my god. Let me hold on. Let me get to my. Let me get to my. He rolled up fourteen. Beep, 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 beep. He fails. Dun dun dun. So what happens? Um, he takes another d6 of damage. I'll let me roll mm-hmm. that. Uh, he takes two more damage. <laughs> He's still on fire. His whiskers ablaze. Okay. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, Bijou, what are you doing? How close am I to this tiger person? Uh, it's inside the big hut, which you're about 30 feet away from. Great. Uh, without moving at all, <laughs> I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers at second level. So he has to make a wisdom saving throw. Do you have to be able to see him? Because you wouldn't, you don't even know he's there. Nope. Uh, well, I'm sure I see some fire. No, it's like in there. I mean, how close do I have to get until I would see it? Uh, you'd have to at least be able to get around the fire you're in front of, because that's kind of like oh. blocking your view of yeah. what's going on. There. I will do that. Okay. Can I see it now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. He has to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, nine. Surprisingly, that's a failure. So right. he is going to take um, let's see, 17 psychic damage, and he runs as far away from me as he can. That's his reaction. He's not going to do that because his He's head dead? explodes. <laughs> I'm about to kill Sean. <laughs> Ew, there's like cat brains all over me. You guys have no idea why it happened. <laughs> I knew I just go, this <laughs> would work. <laughs> this dagger was worth every penny. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, though, <laughs> without it, where would we be? Still battling this cat person for eight more hours. Thought so. Did you see me? <laughs> All right, y'all have my fire boiled his brains and they exploded. Y'all sure my finished. dagger gave him an infection. 
No more Can baddies. Y'all are out of initiative. Can I pull the I the halfling yeah. I push into the fire? Can I pull him out of the fire? Uh, roll a dexterity check. Is he got a kebab? Like, he's dead, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, no, he's uh, just dexterity. chilling in there. <laughs> Sixteen. Uh, sure. Okay, number one, I want to <laughs> I want to loot anything that hasn't burned, and number two, I want to cast Speak with Dead. I'm glad oh, I'm gross. not around because I'd be salty. Oh. You leave the dead alone. <laughs> hey, uh, he doesn't so, seem to have anything on him. That's fine. Can Tatsu I'm more interested in the tiger information. Tiger? He actually, he has one medal. What a I'll fucking amateur. Uh, I'm going to drop my illusion and cast uh, Speak with Dead. Now, I grant the semblance of life and intelligence to a corpse of my choice. I'm going to choose him. Um, he, uh, I can ask up to five questions. What? It only knows what it knew in life. Uh, it is under no compulsion to be truthful. Are you still under disguise self or did you? No. I she, she just gave that up. Okay. Is it he have like? See. Oh, okay. I thought he could see. Is it? I thought it was like a ghost. Oh, okay. No, it's just this. It's like a, just a communication power. He seems alive, but he's not. So he can't like like actually have reactions and respond. It's just like answering questions, basically. Um, he can answer questions, but he doesn't have to be truthful. Okay. Oh wait, no, it can recognize me. All right. So his little kind of like charred. I'm standing away from like to where he can't see, like out of his eye shot, but he'll just hear my voice. Mm -hmm. Well, didn't it say he? What didn't it say? I mean, like animated him or something? Are all burned up. Yeah, but it can recognize me as an enemy. I don't know what that means. If he recognize doesn't have eyes, voice. he can recognize your voice or your your smell. His nose is all. <laughs> you smell like the enemy. <laughs> A slight orange. I'm just curious. I just want to see. I just want to see what he's gonna say. I never used the spell, so All right. his charred corpse sits up and it looks down at itself and says, Well, today's been a weird day. And it looks over right. and it sees uh you bijou and is like, wait a minute. You're the it, it I can only see your outline in silhouette against this roaring fire. You're way taller than <laughs> most of the people I work with. Why did you join the Grey Army? I didn't really have a choice. Or do you, I, I guess everyone does. Who is the ultimate leader of this army? Why are you asking me this question? I don't have to tell you any of this stuff. Are you the one who killed me? <laughs> I'm not going to answer. But you just laughed at him. Um, no, I didn't laugh in character. Um, hmm, I should have thought this through more. I've got five questions. <laughs> yeah. Um, is your family still alive? Uh, I hope so. They're, I mean, my wife and two cute little children. <laughs> they've never left the island, so I should. It's I should hope they're still there. We're all we're still <laughs> waiting on the the conquering until we can leave. Wait, he said they're still on the island. Mm -hmm. They're waiting for the conquering. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've, I've asked three. Um, what? Oh, right. Um, unfortunately, they did leave the island, and we have them. If you if you answer this question truthfully, we will spare them. Who is the ultimate leader of the Grey Army? How would they have left the island? They didn't even... You got 
you guys don't even know where they are. The island is. How would they have? They they would have not left unless they got word that we were all safe. That it was safe to come out. I don't. I don't yeah. know. I think I'm. I think, roll a deception Do check. I, yeah, okay, I was like, thank you. Can't, come on. <laughs> Plus 15. <laughs> well, uh, that's a 23. All right. You rolled a 15. <laughs> it's like, well, I, I guess I should still play it safe because I do want to see <laughs> sweet little Petunia and Bartholomew again. Uh Please don't write that down. I usually don't tell other people their name. <laughs> Bijou's like in the middle of writing it. <laughs> uh, well, it's the most wonderful the... time of the year. <gasps> no, <laughs> no, he's. <laughs> he's I have dead. one more question after this. <laughs> he can't die again. It's uh, the Ironstone. I don't want to blow my my lie by asking this last question. I was going to ask like, where is the island? Um, <clears throat> where were you ordered to go after touring? Well, you you're going to let them go after I tell you this. Mm-hmm. Okay, we were here, and we were holding this country. Until, uh, until the conquering was finished. This is we were doing our part in the conquering, uh, and then, I I guess once. All I know is that we were waiting for the for the rain to come back, and that we were supposed to hide when the rain came back, and then, after everywhere got the rain, it was going to be safe, and we were, our whole families were going to come over. And and we were gonna finally, uh, you know, prosper in the mainland. Have fun in hell. <laughs> I'm gonna chuck his body back in the fire. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> um. All right. So I'm gonna run towards my allies. Uh, I think most of them are at the. Most of them are in the big. The hut. big one. Yeah. Mm. Guys, the rain could be coming back. We need to get everybody out. We need to find a tree and we need to get to safety now. The rain could be coming back. Uh, Tatsu and Reeve <laughs> are over there. Yeah, I'm in the air, so I don't... Oh, oh you're in the air, right. Okay, well... <laughs> all right, let's, let's gather everybody. Um, where's... Where's Harry? <laughs> Uh well he went he <laughs> he flew up on the uh the dragon dude I haven't seen him Surely since then. Surely the sun is coming up by now. We've been right, out I, for a while. Actually, it's probably been an really? hour. Only like four episodes. Um, I walk outside and I uh, let's see, is there anything cool I can do? <laughs> nah, I'll just uh. <laughs> I'll just yell at Harry like, "Oi, Harry! <laughs> Who's out there? <laughs> Come down here. We need to go now." Who is that, Timothy? Who is that down there? Oh, it's the annoying little guy. Oh, Reeve. Yeah, I know exactly. Where you're... Okay, let's head on down. You know the one who always makes <laughs> the stinky <laughs> smells all the time. Yeah, I, uh, I smell. That somehow makes you feel earlier. better. Can't, can't we get in a hut without a hole? Isn't there one without a hole? What? If the rain's coming, couldn't we get in a hut without a hole? Well, it's not coming now, but uh, I just talked to someone <laughs> who said that the next step would be the rains would come. So we just should abandon this area and get to safety. So let's go now. Let's go back to our tree. Let's get the gnomes. I'm going to run back to the hut with Queely and Bellbricks. Are they okay? Um, yes. Uh, Bellbricks is actually like on one hit point like uh just barely revived 
I'm gonna heal her. Cure wounds. <laughs> Um, 14 hit points. All right. No, sorry. That's, that's too much. Um, it's <laughs> 10 hit points. Okay. All right. Let's go. <laughs> the gnome's okay. We come in. Did we, did we, we got the kid, right? The kid, all the, all the families and stuff are okay, right? Uh-huh. In the, in the smaller hut. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, everybody, hold hands. Let's go. Roman comes out of the hut um, that no one bothered to explore. Um, we were busy. Got. Uh, she looks like she's like stuffing stuff in her pack, and yeah. her pockets are bulging a lot. She says, "All right, uh, yeah, let's. I'm I'm totally fine to go. Let's get out of here. Yeah, this is that sounds like a good idea. Um, I'm gonna go check out the hut." That she just came out of. Uh, there's nothing, le- nothing in there. Uh, there's actually a trunk nothing right left. in the middle that's totally empty. You find actually one gold piece laying in the bottom of it. I, I take the gold piece and kind of bite it. Oh, it breaks your All teeth. Right. That's okay. It's it was already. It was. <laughs> I'll use the gold. I'll use the gold to make a new one. You're like it's okay. Um, I'm ugly anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we are going to. Uh, end this episode here and we'll talk to y'all next time bye 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 Shoulder. Cat. Radio. Ah! Dog. Dog.